So this comes with Windows 10 Home. What the luck, come on. Let's get rid of that Windows Home. Let's get some Windows Pro. Copy and paste my code from the description. You can also get Office 2019. Just paste my code, woof. It's Windows Pro time. All right, tell you how there champs, and this is it. This is the best in show. This is the one that blew me away the most. Are you ready to be blown away? Well, here it is. Have a look at that. The Dell XPS. Two in one. XPS 13, two in one. Ice, ice, baby. Yes, ice lake. Wow, wow, wow. Have a look at this thing. How sexy is it? Man, I love the last two in one, the XPS 13, two in one, but it had the Y series processor. So, you know me, I ain't going to buy no Y series processor. And if you were a road warrior or something like that, yeah, all right, that'll be fine. For me, I want maximum performance. And this has got 10 nanometer ice lake. And there you can see there has the smallest webcam there. So it does not have the webcam down the bottom. It's at the top, but it still has those killer thin bezels. It's a two-in-one. You can use it with an active pen and that has the 496 pressure sensitivity points. Have a look how sexy it is. Oh, I like that one. That's the one. That's it. I'm not going to say I don't like the black one. And there you can see cooling. Is I'll just go back to that. It's got gore cooling in there, so it should perform very well. Ice Lake CPU, so 10 nanometer, so it's going to be low wattage, and there's some excellent things in the specs. Stay tuned for the specs, and you can see there, that's a Thunderbolt 3, I hope. Uh, I'll have a look in the specs. So you got one on the right, and do you have one on the left? No, they're just showing the right. Oh, left, micro SD and another Thunderbolt. I assume that's the way it's going. Okay, so two and one, let's have a look at its specs because the specs will blow you away because this is Ice Ice Baby. So, all right, so we'll just go for a quick look. Starts at 999. 999 with the Ice Lake CPU. Wow. When you think of how much max cost, um, well, they start at 1299. What? 999? Look at this. Now we have a HDR 400 certified UHD display. Um, we'll have a look at displays. We'll have a look at specs later. DCI-P3, 100%, 16 by 10. I forgot to mention that. How could I forget? And this is why it's blowing me away. 16 by 10. Now they said they had to do that to make it more rigid with the keyboard. So I don't care. Just give me 16 by 10 because I want the extra real estate. So this 13 point whatever display, I'll, we'll have a look at the size in a minute. 13.3 I think it is. But it's 16 by 10. So it will act more like a 14 inch display. You've got Ice Lake CPUs. And Ice Lake CPUs have like double the graphics performance. Uh, better performance per watt. These things actually scream. I'll show you the specs of them in a sec. You've got the thermal, advanced thermal design with the gore and the vapor chambers. Uh, 16 hours of battery life. Oh man, this thing's going to be excellent. Uh, Magni uh, keyboard. Yeah, you'll get used to that very quickly, of course, and the Dell pen support. So let's have a look at the specs. And the specs are what blow me away. And this is why this is best in show. This thing, I want it. Like, Without question, I have a Lenovo, what is it got? Lenovo ThinkPad X1 yoga thing or whatever. I bought it because it was cheap, all right? It was like a 3,400 uh, Australian dollar um, laptop and I got it for 1,100. It was like a refurb. It was like literally brand new. <laughs> I'll give that up in a heartbeat for this. I mean, Ice Lake, 16 by 10. Um, yeah. As long as it holds up, and I will review it, it looks like on paper it is epic. And let's have a look at these specs. So there we've got the 10th generation Intel CPUs, okay? Quad cores up to 3.9 gigahertz with the i7, all right? So that's the 1065. And then you've got the 1035, which is the i5. And then you have the 1005, which is the i3. So if you just want to know all the Ice Lake CPUs, what they are, well, this isn't all of them, but look at that. That's it. So there, not only with Ice Lake do you get the better graphics, all right? And with this one, you get the better graphics. The i7 is the best when it comes to graphics, all right? You can get Windows Home and Windows Home Ultra. What the hell's on Windows Home? Who does these things? Are they, like, for real? There's so many typos. I've never heard of Windows Home Ultra. I might be wrong, but you want Windows Pro. Check out the link in the description to get that. Anyway, memory options, 4 gigabyte. Well, there you go. That will be the 999 one. Yeah, you don't want the 999 one. But what you get with Ice Lake CPUs is support for low power DDR4. And look at the speeds. 3,700. What? 
You look at the speeds of DDR4 and the 15 inch laptops, it's 2666. This is like 1000 megahertz faster, less power. And the thing is, that's going to be good for the graphics because the graphics like fast memory. So super fast memory, up to 32 gigs now, soldered in, but low power DDR4. Wow, I'm freaking excited for this. Then you have your SSD storage, yep, Ultra HD graphics and Iris graphics. Now you want to get the Iris graphics because the graphics are going to be really good in these ice lakes. And when I say really good, no, it's not going to be playing AAA title 60 frames, you know, ultra settings. It's going to perform probably like an MX. One of those MX is going to be much better than the last generation um, integrated graphics. So you'll be able to play games on these like, you know, 13 inch laptops and even for video editing, I expect it to be better too. So so yeah, I can't wait to actually have a look and see how they perform, but I expect to at least play games at 720, um, maybe even 1080p, and be able to edit 4K video. All right, so what do we got here? So we have the 13.4 inch 4K Ultra HD 4K monitor, HDR 400, so that's pretty good, actually 500 nits, so very bright there. DCI-P3, 90%, so that's awesome. Then you have the full HD option, which is 500 nits, nice and bright, 100% sRGB, so two in one. So yeah, you want to be able to see it from all those angles. 45 watt power adapter, USB Type-C. Yeah, we have some speakers, machine data, aluminium, awesome there. A Gorilla Glass 5, 51 watt hour battery. Now that should be good because 51 watt hours with ice lake should be really good. They should be more power efficient. They should be cooler. Uh, hopefully, we'll find out when we see them. Two Thunderbolt 3s, awesome there. The power delivery, whatever. Micro SD, that's all that's going to fit because it is very thin. 13 millimeters thin. <laughs> 1.3 kilos, 2.9 pounds. So very thin and light for a 2 one because 2 ones are usually a bit more heavier. So that's great that it is thin and light. It's supposed to be a bit thinner and lighter than the old XPS 13 2-in-1. So yeah, happy with that. Uh, Windows Hello, fingerprint reader, microphone, and you get that webcam, as I said before, and of course, Wi-Fi 6. Wi-Fi 6, baby. Best in show for me, um, XPS 7350, that's the model. And yeah, can't wait to... Get this in my hands. Ice lake, baby. Ice, ice, baby. Catch you in the next one. Tally ho. Ice, ice, baby. Boom, 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 boom.